A salute to Ray Pfeiffer's family who rode out the journey with him. An FDNY first responder who worked months on the toxic pile at Ground Zero and as a result battled cancer for eight years, all while on a quest to create good from colossal horror. I think it's the atrocities that he's seen um, and what he's lived through. And then when he got cancer, he figured out what his purpose was. Nothing, nothing stopped him. I always say, uh, do the right thing even when nobody's looking. We talked with Pfeiffer weeks ago in hospice. He raised money for this transport van for other sick first responders. That van now at the East Meadow Firehouse, where he volunteered since his teens. Hundreds here at his wake, among them a Marine with battlefield-related cancer who never met Pfeiffer. And I look at the work that they've done to help other families, and it makes me feel like so you had to be here? Yes. Pfeiffer humbly dubbed himself the poster child for the Zadroga Act that secured health care for tens of thousands of recovery workers. His death coinciding with this week's announcement that recovery workers will get a permanent dedication at Ground Zero. When we go there, that makes me feel patriotic, that makes me feel American, that makes me feel that I was part of something special. Pfeiffer epitomized that something by giving more than he took with a bucket list filled with acts of kindness. There's many people out there that, uh, that idolize sports, you know, sports players and celebrities. They need to idolize more people more like Ray. Ray Pfeiffer is the greatest person ever. No one who desires just to help everyone in need. That's the kind of guy he was. This antique fire truck, a gift from his six siblings. Pfeiffer restored it, a labor of love while he struggled with cancer. Tomorrow will serve as a unique curse for an extraordinary man. In East Meadow, Long Island, Journal Gus of CBS 2 News. And the